What is up guys? Video Game Gen Poop again, back with more Banjo-Kazooie. And in the last episode, we have tackled on both uh, Treasure Trove Cove and Clanker's Cavern. And in this episode, we're going to continue more of Banjo-Kazooie by starting off with Bubble Gloop Swamp. But first, we've got a Gruntilda statue there. And first, we'll go up here. Grunt uh, uh, Bubble Gloop Swamp is located in the other direction, but I'm gonna s let's see what's this way first, shall we? Yeah. 260 notes you need for this one. We've got 300 notes. Now, I want to try and get to, like, something and then zero, zero. So, so it should be like that. All right, so then I can go here. All right. All right. Ground pound this. Then, we have a shock pad. Uh, a moving shock pad there. Alright, I don't need more red feathers because I've got maximum at this point. Behind here is a uh, bubble token. And there is a jiggy inside that thing as well, but you have to open it. Now, in the N64 version, you can actually get that jiggy early. Uh, but it's been fixed in the Xbox version, so you can't do it anymore. Let's check what's this way as well. Three. There we go. And then right here. All right. We find another cauldron. Now this cauldron is connected to the one that we first saw. So if we go inside it, we can warp. That's it. You've created a shortcut. Hop on in and see. But I'm not going to do that yet. Though. Yeah, the note door you will see on that other grunty head there. Uh, we need more notes. We need more notes there as well. But up here, I'll, I'll first get this cauldron real quick. Alright, get this cauldron real quick. And this is what happens if you go in the cauldron that you haven't created a shortcut yet. You just get out. They could have done stuff like replenish your health or something, but now they don't. And there's a Brent Hilda up here. Actually, let's talk to her to see what she's like. Hello there, young ones. I'm Brent Hilda, Brent Hilda's nice assistant. I crept down here to help you defeat the old hag. It's about time she was taught a lesson. I know all of Gruntilda's disgusting secrets, and I'll tell you all three of them every time you find me. Remember them well, young ones, as they'll help you avoid a fury fate. Right, so what's this first one here? The disgusting Gruntilda has rat bagels for breakfast, ew. Then she usually has slug stew for dinner, yuck, ew. What bags? And then she finish off with cockroaches and cream for dessert. How horrid. Ew, that's disgusting. Ew. Right. Right. I'm going to try this here. Ah, oh, god damn it. Now, in that eye, that left eye there, you can get a jiggy from a world. Uh, and apparently, I've seen in one of, um... Thumbs up masters li uh, live streams about the Banjo Kazooie randomizer. Is that apparently you can actually get it uh, by just without flying or um, or anything else? You can actually do it that way. But except I didn't do it on the first try. But I always did it the flying method, which is weird. <sighs> That's interesting. But now this is where Bubble Gloop Swamp is, and this is where we'll actually go now. Uh, let's get that golden feather first. And yes, this water does damage you, so you've got to be careful there. Got hit twice. <coughs> oh, God. <coughs> but before we go there, though, we need to go there first. Alright. Get those honeycombs on the way back. Alright. Alright. This is Plano Water! Keep your smelly feet out! I'll try. I'm trying so hard. But still. We have another jigsaw piece here that we need to solve. This time it's a snowy land. Alright. And the place is actually where we were before with that uh, grunty eye place. Freeze Easy Peak. And we'll do that after Bubble Gloop Swap. Now, this ice cube you must break. Very important, this. I didn't really need to collect that. I could have got that on the way back. But that is very important, that. 
you need to break it to get something later on. Oh, I, I, don't, I avoided the water a lot of times there. Come on. Oh, yes. All right. Okay. Oh, come on. In fact, uh, I'm, I'll try and get more. I'll try and get more honeycomb pieces before going in Bubble Goop Swamp, actually. Alright. Kill him. There we go. Now, I, I might not read all of Brentilda's um, uh, questions, but still, I know they're funny, so. So, I might do, I might not. I'll see. Let's go to Bubble Goop Swamp. And then here. Keep your eyes out open for the new move. Nope, it's right there. It's an easy one to find. Well, I guess. <coughs> These are wading boots. Chicken legs wears them so you can safely go through dangerous areas like the swamp for a limited Okay, chicken. Uh, Kazooie, let's go grab them. Oh, energy was lower. Yeah, I forgot. Oh, I forgot you can refill them. Yeah. Should have made him done that instead. All right. We have this crocodile, golden crocodile here. Yummy croc just like that. And then there's another golden crocodile, croc just. Me want yummy egg too. So yeah, we need to um, uh, give these uh, golden, we need to feed the, the eggs to those crocodiles. So, whoa. And we have these uh, red frog enemies. Get that jigsaw button in a moment. Alright, right, there we go. Alright, there we go. We'll go for it here. We'll get these uh, notes before we go on to that egg there. So, yeah, you don't take damage here, but it is limited. You can cancel yourself. By pressing the X button. If you don't, then Banjo would go, oh! Then you would have to try and get them again, I guess. Alright. Then we'll um, destroy that egg right here. Right, there we go. So we got that egg. Alright, there we go. Come on, get on that. And then there, there we go. We didn't take damage there. You get that bumble token here. Now there is a mumbo cut in this stage, so so we'll we'll have a transformation here. That is what that ice cube thing is important for. So we can use the transformation to go through there for a secret. So okay, all right. And we have a time limit for this, Shiggy. So all right, all right. And the other Croctus is down there, so... Alright. So we've got to put these Mumbo tokens in there. Alright, and then there's a Jinjo there. Jinjo there. And now let's focus on the Jiggy. Okay. Alright, there we go, we got it! Yes! <laughs> Alright, we got that, and then it's just a honeycomb hut here, so if we need it. But we don't really need it that much, so... Oh, right, right here. Eh, it's ugly hairy trespasser. He's not that guard. Uh, I can stop them. First off, though, I'm gonna wait for them to go up here. And then, just use this. <laughs> now, I would recommend keeping those honeycombs there. Uh, that was a boss fight, uh, I guess, so... I recommend keeping those honeycombs there. So then you save them for later, in case you need them again. Uh, you can always, uh, Come back for them. Find this area right there. Alright. Get that note here. Oh, I don't know if I got it. Did I? 
Oh no, I didn't. <laughs> That's so cool. All right. Get up here. There we go. Got that jiggy right there. And there's another bumbo token over here. There we go. Oh no. Oh, okay. Alright, there we go. Right, and then I need to go down here. Right, come on! Down there! Alright, there we go. I didn't take any damage. Is there any notes around that? Yeah, there is. Get those. And there's an extra life there as well, but I'm not gonna get that. Oh god, that was close. Alright, got that. Alright, there we go. And then... Go to this, go for this crocodile area, so then we can get the other crocters. That's around here. There's a buzz bomb, and maybe we need to kill. We don't need to kill, but it's recommended to kill at least. No! Oh my god! Spit in his mouth! No! Oh my god! Right, there we go. Right. Now we can uh, progress through this area. It's just blue eggs here. Right. But we do this, so we can get on these uh, things quicker. And there's a ginger right there, so... Alright, so first off, I'll... Um... Right, there we go. We got that honeycomb after. Come on. Come on. Nice. Then I can go up here to then get this ginger right there. Go, go over there. There we go. And then it's just some gold feathers there, so I don't really need to get those. Right, and then. And then we'll go through that maze part there later. It's where you get to Mumbo, uh, there, so... Now we'll go to this turtle area. That turtle's moving. The crocodile isn't, so... Maybe this turtle will do stuff for us. Alright. The ground pound his feet. Ah, oh, that's a bit better. Then... Well, I'll get this, uh... Crocodile first. Kill this boss bomb. Oh god damn it, I'm trying to kill it. No, oh my god. No, no I'm trying to Okay. There we go. Got it. We got the jiggy during the cutscene, the short cutscene there. So that that means it's way better. I'm gonna get that ginger right there. No! Oh, no! Oh, God. Damn it. Alright, there we go. Okay. Got that. Then we ground pound his feet a lot, and then... Then he pukes out a jiggy. Tuk Tuk's warm at last. So it's tank top. Okay. Then we can go inside the turtle. And we meet one of the diff one of the most difficult uh, mini games uh, for me now. Like it is easy, but it's only difficult because of my memory. Uh, and it's this right here. So what I'm gonna do uh, for this time, I'm gonna grab my phone and record this on my phone while I do this. Um. And I'm gonna video it as well, so then when I look at the video, uh, I can remember it. Now I think for the first few parts I might remember it, so uh, 
So, uh, because I'm close to my TV, uh, in fact, I can record it from the monitor. So, right, here we go. Uh, we'll start this up now. Right. Quiet, please, the famous take the quiet in my day's work. Okay, here we go. Red. So, I think I might remember that one. It's short, isn't it, Shellboy? Well, let's see. Copy what you just heard. So, I think it was red. Yeah, and then blue. And was it yellow? Yeah, it was. Okay, so. Now, next one. Hmm, not too bad. Try lesson two. Okay. Okay, um, right, I'm gonna look at that again on my phone. Okay, I think it was, so red, purple, yeah, it was purple actually, it's not blue, so purple, and then both of them again. Or was it? Um, I know it was, um, the red again, is it purple again next, or? No, it's not, okay. And then it's blue, and then, then pink. Ah, splendid. Just need one more lesson. Okay, here we go then. Recording. Okay, here we go. So, I know the first one was yellow. But the next ones I don't really remember, so... Okay, here we go again. Red... Purple, red, cyan. Okay. Right, so I know it was re so red, so the same, so similar to the first one. So then this one. Then red again. Um, okay, let me look at this. So, so far we got them. It's red. Cyan. Right, here we go. Okay, so cyan. Which is a uh, light blue. And this one. Oh, first, I'll show off what happens if you get it incorrect. You take damage, and you'll go, No, that's not right. Try again, or ask me to repeat my lesson. Right, I got it. Right, so we finally done it. I can delete these videos on my phone now. So, yeah, it's kind of easy, but at the same time, it's not. Glad I've got it out of the way, though. Let me just clear it off my phone first. Um. Okay. That's out of the way. Never, I didn't, I didn't realise I got uh, seven jiggies just now. Wow. Sorry. There's, no, there's nothing more I can teach you. And this is what happens if you ground pound them now. Hey! Watch it, little you fatty! <laughs> Such a bully. Alright, um... Oh no! So yeah, if you take... And because they take damage, it also counts for your health, so... I'll collect all these honeycombs now. So I got a lot of honeycombs back. <laughs> Thanks to that phone, I was able to do it on first try. But it means we don't have to do that again now, so... Right, let's kill that buzz bomb there. There we go. Get those boots right there. We go through this maze. It's not really a maze, but it's not really a maze, but it's kind of like it, so you can expect it to be similar to a maze. So yeah. Right, and then we got the boots again there. And then we go there. And then we'll go here. And then. Oh! <laughs> so sick! <laughs> Alright, there we go. Now, this jiggy is harder than the previous one. You're still on a time limit. But it's 10 seconds now, so. Oh no, I'm. Fi no! No! Camera! First you see it, now you don't. The 
fast one wins, the slow one won't. Oh my god, because of the camera. And you can't really see, there's no shadow above it. Oh my god. Right. Thank god for those energy though. I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. Let's hope I can do it this time. Because the camera is slightly off here. Right, there we go. I got it. There we go. Right. Uh, this is, it is quite tricky, to be honest. Uh, I think it was because I was doing that uh, talent drop thing. Uh, I, don't, I don't think I should really be using the talent drop there. Uh, but still. And then there's Mumbo's hut right there. Whoa! And I took damage, of course. So... Right, there is a Mumbo token behind here, so... Make sure we get that. And then in here... is where Mumbo's hut is. But up here is where you find some feathers. You can find other things as well. In uh, Mumbo's mountain, you'll find uh, blue eggs. And one of them... I think a few of them you might find some notes somewhere as well. Uh, so we're a crocodile. Oops. Oh wait, hold on. Another honeycomb piece. Oh, the other honeycomb piece is here. Hold on. You can transform back uh, if you want to, and it is free after that. You only have to spend once, so don't worry about that, guys. All right. But come on, get up there. So we do need to go up here. Yeah, I forgot about that. Right, now we can uh, transform back. But we don't need those feathers, though. Alright. I have completely forgotten about that. My apologies there. Okay. Yeah, now we'll um, go and do this thing here. And this is also one of the hardest challenges in the game. Well, the hardest thing in this stage as well is ha even harder than the, uh, uh, the Turtle Remembering game. So, what I'll do here is... I got those nodes. And there's another... Another Mumbo token there if you need it. So... Alright. Mr. Mile here. Uh, I'm Mr. Mile, greedy as croc of all. Play the game to win a prize. Yes, we will. Game is simple. Eat more red yumblies than me. Right. <laughs> So we gotta eat more of those red yumblies. <laughs> That's what these things are. So we just gotta eat quicker than him. And he is fast, so you gotta be careful. Now, you, if you get if you get another move which makes you run fast, this is easier, but still, it is still hard. But it gets harder uh, in different stages. In different stages. So round one is easy. Uh, so you just eat more than him. Now it's the same with every challenge, every others, but it, they get harder, so... There we go. Alright, and then... Just gonna eat him. We're eating them yum yum. We're eating yum yums. Oh no, he's got the same amount now. There we go. Oh, thank God. That was so close. Uh, you only win easy game now. We played harder game. So this time we still eat the red ones, but we avoid the yellow ones. So we don't eat those ones. If you do eat them, it will stun you slightly. And you'll cough. So, wow, I meant that. Wow. Get out of my way. Right, right he's going to eat that. Right. Yeah, try not to eat the yellow ones. Wh where's the other red ones? There we go. Alright, get that one. There we go. And I think always a uh, biting seems to make you go faster as well. It seems like it to me. So, I guess that's another way I could uh, abuse this game. Come on. Come on, come on, come on! Oh, so close. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. We're eating more than him, still. This is what happens if you eat a yellow one. Yeah, you go like that. 
and then you'll cough. <clears throat> Looky greedy wins. We played last game. Only eat what is shown on the top screen. So this time you eat both, but but first it shows red, so you eat the red ones uh, now. Uh, so you eat the red ones now. Then when it changes, then you eat the yellow ones. Okay. Oh, God damn it. It's gonna change to the red ones right here. There we go. And it's the same challenge, you just gotta eat more than him. Right, that's gonna go. Right, there we go. I'm gonna eat the yellow ones right here. Oh no, he's winning though. I might lose this. Red ones right here. No! Oh, come on! Right, there we go. Oh, I might win though. I might be lucky. There we go. Yes! Oh, so close! Mr. Vile never lost before. Greedy can have this. Mr. Vile Knight has a tougher challenge. If Greedy is not scared, he must win three games to win three extra lives. Slide off left because slow can do that. So I'm not doing that again, no way. Okay. Alright. Uh, thank god that's out of the way. And you do get an achievement for doing this. Uh, I think you have to eat... Let me just go on to the achievements real quick. Um, okay, there we go. 30 yumblies. <coughs> oh, god. oh my throat. Oh my god. Okay, so if you eat 30 of them, then you get an achievement. Got all notes, yay! Got all notes on this world, well done! Then, and you can actually eat those um, uh, buzz bombs as well, and you'll actually get two honeycombs come out of them if you attempt to do it. But I'm not gonna do it. But you do get two honeycombs instead. Now, even though I still have nine lives after getting another ones, I still the, your lives still go up. So being in, I can have like 10 or 11 or something, I don't know what I actually have, but still. And and you're also safe on the water as the crocodile as well, so that's another good thing here. Got our feather back, so... I'm going to go get this skull right here. Ikahuka. <laughs> And can we get these shoes as this crocodile? No, we cannot, but we can get other shoes later on in the game with these. And that makes the uh, the Mr. Vile challenge a lot easier. Okay. Now, remember that ice cube I told you to break? Well, now we have the crocodile. We have broke it before. But now we have the crocodile, we can actually go and do use the secret. here in the cold place all right we'll go through here and we meet a magic book oh no she told a spell book you have found magic cheats I have found for you hey book brain what did you say you better not give me my oh, I don't know what that said which lost book Bag lady. <laughs> Only one spell Blue eggs as the code in uh, Treasure Trove Cove. All right, so that is what this is what you'll find. Um, <clears throat> there are two more times you would find Cheeto. Um, <coughs> uh, one other one is you you have to transform into another another one of these things again, like not the crocodile, but like in another transformation again. The other is accessed differently, so, but we'll get onto that later. I've got the skirt, so when I'm thinner, it really makes me look oh, like a winner. 
I don't know. I guess some would say it'll make you look hot, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Alright. Alright. Right, this is where... Alright. 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 Oh yeah, and sometimes this enemy can run into you while you're transforming and... Get lots of white smoke there. Oh my god. Now there is a Brent holder here, but I'm not gonna... I might not talk to her a lot in this uh, playthrough. Uh, there's another one behind the statue there. Because I won't even remember what she'll say anyway. But I will say though, uh, that sometimes it now these... The things that she does say, what Gruntilda's dirty secrets are, it is random per file. So meaning it may be different to you than me or something, but still. I want to try and get this jiggy this way. Because that... Uh, don't matter. It's very hard. But that is one way you can get that jiggy there. No! Oh, come on! No! Banjo! Get up here! There we go. Okay. Okay. Right here. Then we can go in this jar. And then we're inside Gruntilda's belly button. Nice. Alright. Alright. Okay, um... Then... In fact, I'll do a few more things, I'll, uh, and then I'll end the video off, because I'll do Freeze Easy Peak in the next video, I think, so... So what I can do is open this door here... Come on, uh, there we go. <coughs> 350 that one needs. Alright. And then here, we're in like a fireplace. And then we have another world we can open. Alright, there we go. Don't know why I pressed A there. And it's in that desert area there. Gobi's Valley. And I, I used to say that I used to call I used to say it as Gobby's Valley, but no, it's actually Gobi's Valley. Then over there is another secret well. Uh, other secrets there, and as well as another world you can go to, but it's not the jigsaw place for it, unfortunately. So yeah. Okay. All right. And a few other things I can do here. Now I won't go to Freeze Easy Peak in this episode, because obviously I want to try and do all worlds in one video. So. So that is what I'm, how I'm doing this selfie, so, or this playthrough, so, but I will get more Mumbo tokens around here. Okay, right, there's another Mumbo token down here, and then, all the way here, I've never done it like this before. Right. I don't think you can use us yet. Alright. Yeah, one exploit people try to use is to pause the game quickly uh, to then do this quickly but I don't know if it works on Xbox or not now I think it only works on the S64 version yeah that's got destroyed there I think they fixed that as well on Xbox or I might be doing something wrong but on N64 you can do the pause trick to then get to that quickly when duty is a big ol' lump, I've just got the frog to hide from a rump. Right, I'm gonna try this again, and then I'll end the video off. Oh, I missed! Oh, that is so hard, actually. Or maybe I should not use the talent trot. Banjo, banjo, banjo. Alright, 
here we go. Do it like this, this time. Ah, oh, there we go. And then, and then you would either use eggs to do that, or you can do that. And then that is how, that is how Thumbs Up Master actually got that jiggy. I'm not joking. Because I always use the flying method of getting that. Now, obviously, uh, the jiggy's not been collected yet because I've not been to a world to get it, but still, it's interesting on how you get it, so, yeah, so, alright, there we go, so, that'll be, it. that'll be it for today, guys, so next time on Banjo-Kazooie, we all ta tackle Freeze Easy Peak, and 21 minutes for Bubble Gloop Swamp, wow, I think I've beaten it quicker than that, uh, originally. Wait, w wait, we, we, we're missing a Jiggy? Hold on, what, what's that Jiggy? Ah, uh, what was the Jiggy? I don't know, let me think. I think I might know which one it is, guys. <laughs> I think I forgot the purple Jinjo in Bubble Gloop Swamp. <laughs> Remember where those last notes I got from, where, where you have to be the crocodile and that? The 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 Jinjo is there, but I think I I think I managed to miss it somehow. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna quit the game so that I don't risk of going in Freeze Easy Peak there. And I can show you what the game over is like as well. Okay, here we go. Banjo's game ends in my tower. Turn, turn it on in full power. Yes, you guilty shit. Transformation soon be complete. Help me, Bunny! Very bird finish. Grunty wins. Oh my god. Oh, 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 She's a beauty. I'm much prettier than Tootie. Oh, you are, mistress. Ah, oh, don't go, Grunty Nice and come back to my most skull, yes. Oh, come on. Banjo, your sister wants a word with you now. It's game over. Okay, then. Yep, I was correct. I missed this ginger right there. So it's a good thing I got this crocodile. And it's right there. I don't know how I missed that. But now I've got it here. Okay, so I'll get these gold feathers here. Then I'm gonna quit the game from here. Right. Right, so that'll be it for today's episode, guys. So next time in Banjo Kazooie, we will tackle on Freezy Peak. And all that. So I'll see you guys in the next video. See you guys next time. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!